The Council of Ministers has agreed a common strategic policy to set our priorities for the next four years. And of course, we'll continue to deliver the extensive range of day-to-day -day services across the whole of the public sector that islanders depend upon. And we'll ensure that those services are appropriate to Jersey's needs, that they meet standards that islanders have a right to expect, and that they're affordable, efficient and effective. But beyond this, we've agreed five strategic priorities where we'll focus our efforts to make a real difference for Jersey. We'll put children first. We'll improve islanders' well-being and mental and physical health. We'll create a sustainable, vibrant economy and skilled local workforce for the future. We'll reduce income inequality and improve the standard of living. And we'll protect and value our environment. Jersey should become the very best place for children to grow up. So we'll put children first and this will inform everything we do as a government. Children should all have an equal opportunity to be safe, flourish and fulfil their potential. But at present, children in Jersey don't all enjoy equal life chances. We'll address the factors that can affect children's lifelong experiences of inequality, including the level of household income, health and wellbeing and quality of education. We'll embed our learning from the care inquiry by improving our services for children and we'll provide early help so that problems experienced by children and families don't escalate into crisis. We'll put children first and improve the educational outcomes that affect their futures. We'll help all children up to the age of five to achieve the best start possible through high quality early learning and by making childcare available to all families. We'll increase the proportion of foundation stage children who achieve early learning goals. We'll narrow the attainment gaps between key groups across the education system. And we'll reduce the proportion of young people who are not in education, employment or training. One of our five priorities is to improve islanders' well-being and mental and physical health. We must create the conditions in which islanders can lead healthier, active and longer lives, not just through health, but through sports, culture and our environment. We'll put patients, families and carers at the heart of our health and care system and provide more support and care closer to people's homes. So, we will trial new models of delivering GP and dental services to make them easier and more affordable to use. And we'll improve access to quality mental health services. Our priorities for this term of government aim to maintain a sustainable economy delivered by a strong partnership between a modern government, responsible business and islanders. We'll ensure that our policies are appropriate, affordable, efficient and cost effective. We'll keep within the spending limits as agreed for 2019 in the medium term financial plan and move to a new government plan from 2020. We'll do this by developing a modern, innovative public sector that meets the needs of islanders effectively and efficiently, that manages public finances and makes the best use of our publicly owned assets. Our future depends on a sustainable and vibrant economy and a skilled local workforce and this is one of our five priorities. We aim to develop an economic framework that improves our productivity, our economic competitiveness and Islanders' earnings and quality of life. We'll improve skills in the local workforce to improve employment prospects. We will reduce Jersey's reliance on inward migration and the pressures that this brings on housing and infrastructure and services. And we'll make the most of any opportunities that emerge from Brexit, not just by promoting finance and trade, but by promoting Jersey as a beautiful island to live in and visit and as a place with a world-leading digital infrastructure. Jersey has developed a positive international identity whilst also maintaining a strong relationship with our closest partner, the United Kingdom. This relationship and our forward planning will ensure we manage the uncertainties caused by Brexit and the challenges to creating a sustainable and vibrant economy, which is one of our five priorities. Brexit also provides us with the opportunity to promote Jersey globally as a safe, stable and secure financial centre with a supportive business environment and the flexibility to adapt and innovate. 
will protect and build on our financial services industry, ensuring that it adapts to change and remains the cornerstone of our economy. But we'll also seek out new markets and new opportunities to widen and diversify our international business. Jersey's place on the international stage is about more than our role as a global finance centre. We want to expand the narrative. As part of our five priorities, we'll ensure our international profile and identity reflects the richness and diversity of our island's talents and the many ways that we act as a responsible global citizen. We're proud of the growing reputation of our overseas aid programme and the links we are developing across the world with our expertise and investment, from cows to conservation, from culture and heritage to fintech and microfinance. We will forge the deep and durable international connections that our island's long-term future depends on. A stable society needs a strong, vibrant economy, good public services and support for those who need help. By pursuing our five priorities, we'll create a sustainable economy and invest in skills and vocational training to build our future workforce. Throughout this time, we will work closely with parishes and community groups. We'll improve social inclusion and implement the disability strategy so that everyone has opportunities to meet their potential and will prepare for the long-term challenge of our ageing population by completing the review of Social Security, which is looking at contribution rates and pensions. Reducing income inequality and improving the standard of living is one of our five priorities. We'll do this by making housing more affordable and securing a consistent supply of good quality homes for local families. We'll improve the quality of rented homes and strengthen tenants' rights. We'll also take a long-term view of how to meet the housing needs and aspirations of our young people. We'll ensure that Jersey's infrastructure is fit for our future needs. That means both the infrastructure you see, like the public buildings and sea defences, and the infrastructure you don't see, like our water pumping stations, sewerage and utilities. We'll improve Jersey's transport infrastructure and we'll ensure that St Helier is a more desirable place in which to live, work, do business and visit. We live in a beautiful island and looking after and conserving it is going to be one of our five top priorities. This means looking after our natural world, the marine systems, coast and countryside and conserving them. And our built spaces too. We need to make sure we have good livable spaces with good quality homes, more open space and a decent transport network, and explore our opportunities for renewable energy. We will meet global standards and best practice environmentally so that we can sustain our fishing and our farming industries and hold our head up in the world. Underpinning the success of the strategic plan is the fact that Jersey is a safe and secure place to live, to visit, and to do business. And it's the duty of government, and my priority as Home Affairs Minister, to ensure that it stays that way. It's important that we have a cohesive and efficient set of emergency services. I'm looking at the possibility of a joint control room, where a call to all services will be received, enabling an appropriate and perhaps even quicker response than we have now. Prevention of crime, prevention of fire, and safety of our borders is important, uh, vital for the security of our people. We want to deliver improvements to benefit all islanders of all ages, backgrounds and circumstances. Wherever you live, work and enjoy our unique island. <laughs>